Hi, it's Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden, and you're watching Loudwire. You hoped that this would not be the last Iron Maiden record. Oh, yeah. Um, is there any word from the rest of the band about how they feel about that? Have you spoken with them about that, or is it no, a bit too early? No, it's just pure, purely personal opinion. I mean, it's okay. the, you know, the, 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 you know they, they might go, we never want to do one of these records ever again! <laughs> you know? uh, but um, I don't think so. I mean, okay. you know, Adrian would love it, Yang would love it, I, you know, Steve obviously I think would love it, Nick, Nick, Nico was like, you know, uh, what else is he going to talk about, you know, apart from, you know, <laughs> apart from rock and roll ribs, you know. Uh, that's right, yeah. And, uh, you know, if, you know, for a little bit people were thinking, oh, Final Frontier is the last one. And then people are thinking, well, maybe that was the a really good wind-up, though. Right? You know, Final Frontier. I it mean, was a we, bit of a wind. -up. We did, we did, we did get everybody. People were going, but they were like, "It's really going to be the last one," you know. Yeah, I think Steve was talking about fifteen albums he wanted to do, and then the word "final," of course, it's all. Yeah. But uh, you know, uh, you know, so people are thinking, "Book of Book of Souls," maybe. Uh, does this count as sixteen albums, or does it count as seventeen albums? I I think no, technically I think it's, it's 16, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. yeah. But uh, basically, uh, with the Book of Souls, um, if if it was your last album, do you think you would be happier with this record being your swan song as opposed to the Final Frontier? Definitely. Oh no, no, yeah. no question about it. No question about it. Wow. I mean, I mean, when I, um, <clears throat> uh, I mean, when I got all this rubbish, you know, sure. diagnosed and everything. Um, I thought, well, there's going to be um, one of, uh, there's going to be one very bad potential outcome to all this, which is like, it's curtains for you, you know? Yes. I thought, that's, that's not a good outcome, so we won't even go there yet, because yeah. there's a long way to go before you're even remotely approaching that. that. So, so that's a potential outcome, it is. Um, and then the other one is, hey, good news is, it's gone. The bad news is... You can't sing. And I thought, that's also a potential outcome. That's a frightening... And you think, well, how do you... And, and how, you, <clears throat> how do you... I thought, huh, how would I feel if that happened? Because that's, I think, probably slightly more likely. Or was slightly more likely. I said, how do I deal with that? And I thought, well, if this album was the last thing that anybody heard of that voice... It's a pretty good way to go out. <laughs> it is, you know? It's a very and good one. I thought, one. well, uh, that gave me a degree of, you know, being philosophical about it, you know. And there's, there's not much you can do to affect, affect it. It's, you know, it's either going to be damaged beyond repair or not, you know. Yeah. So, so th the fact that the Book of Souls came out so well and that you're so proud of it, gave you almost a sense of peace in, in that turbulent moment? Yeah, uh, it, well, to, to an extent, yeah, actually, I think that's probably fair, yeah. Yeah. Wow.